Diddy do the best flash tutorials ever. Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. This is part two of Platform Basics. The first thing you want to do is la watch my last tutorial, which was on custom classes. And here I'm going to show you how to do a custom class very quickly, how to set up that directory. So you go over to Edit, and then Edit, you go down to the Preferences, which is off screen. You go down to the Action Script category in the Preferences, head over to the Action Script 3 Language Settings and then you choose a path. This means you create a file somewhere on your computer which will hold all your custom classes. For me, I have it, mine on the desktop and I have the class AS3 classes. So what you do is either press the plus button or you browse the path. So mine was on a desktop so I just clicked on it like that and pressed OK and that set a new source path. That's how you do it. That is how you set up the source path for your custom classes. Now I'm using one custom class for this tutorial it's from Synocular.com. You go to Synocular.com slash flash slash action script dot PHP. And inside of here, you go to the action script three folder, com Synocular Utils. So remember this hierarchy, which is com, see the root folder, com Synocular Utils key object.as. So you'll click on the key object.as and they have they show you the source file. Download the source file. You'll see the content of the source file. And with your browser you can go to file save page as. I'm using Firefox. I don't know if they have it on IE. I don't know why you're using IE. Uh, you, you know it makes you an evil person. So what you can do is just set up that directory of com you make sure, you know, wherever your Action Script 3 custom class folder is, which mine is on the desktop, so I go into there, create a com directory, and in the com directory, create a Synocular file, and in the Synocular file, create a utils file, and then paste your Action Script, this key object AS file, and just save it in there. I already have mine saved in there. So now we can head over to Flash. Inside of Flash, I have a triangle hero. Um, if any, if there are any artists out there, I would appreciate if you can make me a few sprites for these tutorials. Uh, I'll give you a shout out and a URL to find you, because I'm tired of using Triangle Man. Well, anyway, with Triangle Man, I've created, I made him a movie clip. Go inside of your library and right-click on your hero movie clip. Or while you're creating him, you'll see the properties, or select the properties. And what you want to do is export for action script, export in frame one, of course, and give it a class name. Remember this, whatever you name it, my library name is hero, but my class name is hero underscore core. This is very important because when we start creating the class, um, we're going to reference this name again. So make sure you give it a good name that makes sense. What we're doing is, what you want to do now is just save your FLA. So I'm, I saved it just gonna go save I named it plat2 and in the same directory we want to create an action script file and the way we do that is just go to file new and we go to action script file press OK and you will see a blank file but I have something set up in here I'll just go over it not too much setup we have package and inside of package I put those all that inside of parentheses then I import the remember com dot synocular utils dot asterisk which will bring in everything from the utils folder of that directory and we have to import flash display movie clip we have to import flash dot events dot event there we go and now we're creating our class which is all this jumbled up words in parentheses open and close and not parentheses curly brace so what we do is we put public class, remember that class name was very important, hero underscore core, extends movie clip, because it's, our hero is a movie clip. After you're finished doing that, you want to save this file, you want to save this file in the same directory as your FLA, the same folder. So you want to go to save, and it will ask you what name do you want to name it and of course name it the same name as your class minus hero underscore core 
that's what the file name is hero underscore core dot as makes a lot of sense okay now we're ready to build our constructor function our constructor function is a function with the same name as the class so my class name is hero underscore core so I'm going to make a function named hero underscore core so function hero core the constructor function is the first function that is run when you call this class this is the first thing you're initializing function speaking of initializing functions let's put I and I T we call an int function this is what we will put all of our action script into our initializing stuff into what I want to do is create a private function private function and I and I all right this function because we don't want to put all of our code inside of the constructor function we put it inside of an initialize function and from here we are going to initialize everything we want to make but first we need to create some variables first variable DX and that is a number the second variable is speed and that is also a number the next is key and we will assign that to a key object okay now we can use now we are about to assign this key object remember it's com dot synocular dot utils dot star this is important this is how we get to use this item right here that's the whole point of this so anytime you want to use the keyboard codes you need to do this all right fine we're 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 ready to go so dx we are going to assign it inside of the int function we won't let me move this down we're going to assign that to zero speed we're going to assign that to one and we need to add an event listener and this event listener listens for when the hero is put on stage event dot add to stage I'm going to put on stage and this will be a private function also I'll just copy this the reason why I needed to do this is because when we add this key object we need the stage to have a reference so just copy that over here on stage e event so now key equal to new key and in the key object of course you put stage all right now we're ready to use now we can use this key function and whilst it's on stage we might as well add the event listener just copy this up here we'll add the event listener for the enter frame so event dot enter frame and we'll go on hero put a capital H so I'll just copy this up here and change it around private function name that on hero and on hero now we can use that those if statements if key dot is down and inside here we'll put key dot left open and curly brace and we can copy this again and just change it for the right key for the right side of the keyboard or the right side and what I want to do is add to the DX and for left is minus equal and of course you remember the number speed we'll use that variable and I'll just copy and paste that down there instead of minus we put a plus and to top it all off we put the DX has to add to the X of the hero so plus equal DX so now we should have a move-in hero so now we're ready to test it out and the way we do that is we need to go on the first frame and let's go inside of the actions 
panel and what we do is we type in a code like this we give it any any name we want I'm I could name it Bob Bob is of the type movie clip and we equal it to the new that hero class the hero underscore core class that we just created and I'm just adding this extra code well I have to name it Bob so Bob when we're telling Bob to it's Y to be 300 and then we have to add Bob to the stage which is actually our hero and now when we try it out we have our hero down there and then when we press left and right we see our hero picking up a lot of speed a lot of speed so thanks for watching this on enter flash tutorial if you like these tutorials don't forget to rate subscribe comment and uh, you can go to my website and click on an attitude to support on enterflash.com also just be mindful that all the code that you see here can be found on the website